What is going on guys, JT Judgment here and I am back today with another player review. Today we're going to be looking at the highest rated player in this team of the week and it is none other than Louis Suarez, second in form. Card face stats are as follows guys, he's got 83 pace, 91 dribbling and 89 shooting being his two standout stats. He's also got 78 passing. 57 defending and 73 heading so all round card face stats are pretty beast seeing as he is a striker uh here we have some in-game stats i mean look at those stats guys they're pretty beast um i mean he's got 90s everywhere 95 dribbling 94 finishing 92 free kicks 94 uh, penalties sorry guys 90 long shots i mean the guy's amazing i mean his in-game stats really are amazing uh he's also got four star skills and four star weak worth which is always nice uh he's got high attacking work rate and medium defensive work rate kind of affects him in game guys but it's nothing too serious uh physical attributes are an 89 acceleration 87 agility 80 sprint speed uh 95 reactions being the standout physical attribute and also 91 stamina He's also got 79 strength, which is equal to non-informer Ronaldo strength, so that is always nice, guys. And his mental attributes are 84 aggression, 86 attack positioning, and 81 vision, guys. So this is the team I'm playing him in. Uh, it's kind of a cheap Barclays Premier League team. Um, I've noticed in this year's FIFA, if you have one player in your team that stand out, for example, this team... Uh, for example, say you got Ronaldo in your team. To use that player to the best of his ability, you've got to use him in a low-rated team. I mean, if you use high-rated players and then surround him by other high-rated players, then for some reason, the team doesn't play as well as it should and you don't get to use that player to his full potential, guys. So if you're making a team with a, obviously, one uh, high rated player in it my advice to you guys would be use him in a low rated team and he will be so much better guys he'll, he'll seem like he gets involved more and you'll just have more fun but anyway guys back to the review i mean suarez what can i say about suarez let's start off with his pace i mean he's got great acceleration i mean he gets off the mark very very quickly but he slows down very very quickly after he gets going I mean, like I said, gets off the mark, gets off the mark, great. But as soon as he goes, then he slows down way too quickly, guys, and that gets very, very annoying after a while. Shooting out all round with this guy is amazing. I mean, whether you're talking about finesse shots, by the way, guys, this guy has got the best finesse shot I've used in this game. Absolutely outstanding finesse shots on him. You'll see a couple of finesse shots where I just score where he shouldn't, basically. Long shots, I mean, look at this long shot, guys. Bang! <laughs> right in the back of the net, no keeper saving that. I mean, long shots with him are pretty epic. I've had a lot of fun just, you know, making space with that amazing dribbling of his. And, you know, just taking that long shot and just hoping it goes in. Every now and again, it challenged the keeper. Obviously, that one went in. So, it was nice enough to include it in the video. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, he does this day in and day out. I mean, just embarrasses the team with dribbling. He's got to be one of the best dribblers I've used uh, in this game by far. I mean, here we go again. In, out, in, bang. Outside of the boot, into the back of the net. I mean, the guy shooting is outstanding. Heading-wise, um, every time I seem to cross the ball, uh, he always seemed to fail when it came to heading, guys. He never got it on target, never got to, uh, to challenge the keeper with him. So, guys, for heading for me isn't the best with him. Uh, penalties, as you can see, he's got amazing penalty stats, and they do not lie, guys. At taking penalties, he is amazing. I mean, the bar moves really, really, really slowly, so obviously it makes it much easier to take those penalties and blast them into the back of the net. Um, he's got another thing that I wanted to say, guys. He is the most inconsistent player I've used to date. I mean, um, say I uh, admit, uh, sorry, guys. I played about 20 games with him. And for the first five games, he done nothing. Absolutely nothing. If he got on the ball, he failed. But then a, a game after that, he scored five or six goals, guys, which was very, very frustrating. 
So we get to the final thoughts on Luis Suarez. Being his pros first, guys, he's got fantastic dribbling. That 91 dribbling stat does not lie. I mean, he is definitely one of the best dribblers I've used in this game by far. Every aspect of his shooting is amazing, whether it comes to finessing, long shots, chip shots, volleys. Every aspect of his shooting always challenges the keeper, guys. Epic free kicks, always on target, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't score any, but uh, they always challenge the keeper. And then he is quite strong, and he's also got great acceleration, like I said before, guys. We'll move over to the cons now. Uh, one of his biggest cons, guys, he slows down very, very quickly. I mean, I know he's got great acceleration. He gets off the mark extremely quickly, but it, it just goes downhill from there, guys. Poor heading. Like I said, very inaccurate heading. He is one of the most, well, I don't want to say one of the most, uh, the worst players with the worst heading. But, guys, when it comes to heading, he really did fail for me. And then lastly, guys, he is the most inconsistent player I have used to date. What do I mean by that? Well, I'll go into detail. Uh, like I said, guys, I played about 20, 25 games with him. And for the first five or six games, he'd done absolutely nothing. I mean, every time he touched the ball, he failed, whether it was... Um, doing skill, whether it was dribbling, whether it was just simply passing the ball to another one of his teammates for them to score, didn't work. And then the game after that, out of the blue, the guy would score five or six goals for me, which was kind of weird and kind of frustrating, seeing as you're paying, how much is he, 700k? I don't know, guys. Is he worth it? Is he worth the 700 to 750k price tag? Hell no. I don't think this guy's worth 700k. Are you, are you serious? 700k for this player? No way. Doesn't play like a doesn't play like a player that's worth 700k. Uh, he doesn't even play like a player that's worth 600k or even 500k. Guys, I'd go as far to say I don't think I'd pay more than 200k for him. I mean, guys, is dribbling great dribbler, great shooting. That's pretty much the only great thing about him. I mean, he's got decent pace, but like I said, he slows down a bit too quickly for my liking. And his passing, not the best. Heading, not the best. I mean, for 700k, you're expecting your this player to be pretty much spot on. Uh, but unfortunately, guys, second in form, Luis Suarez is far from it. But anyway, guys, this was my review on second inform Luis Suarez. I hope you enjoyed. A like would be greatly appreciated. And subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ta-da, guys.